Today we are going to learn how to add the automatic YouTube video generator. This tool is a built-in marketing tool which creates YouTube videos for all your listings. Having videos on your YouTube channel will help to increase your online presence and your online ranking. To enable the YouTube video generator, log into your dashboard. Click on the configuration tab followed by Enable Disable YouTube Services. Click here on this link for more instructions on how to set up your YouTube services. Then, in the first step, click on this link to access the cloud platform. Sign in if you're not signed in already. Click on Create New Project on the right-hand corner of the screen. If you do not see the Create New Project option, then click on the drop-down near Google Cloud and then click New Project. Choose the name for the project. It could be literally anything. Example, YouTube. And click Create. Once you're here on the dashboard, click on Enable API and Services. Search for YouTube Data API v3. Click on YouTube Data API v3 button. Click the Enable button. Next, click the Create Credential button on top right of the page. Under credential type, which API are you using? Select YouTube data API v3. Once it's selected, what data will you be accessing? Under this, choose user data. Click on next. Under app information, Type in any app name you'd like. For example, my website. For user support email, choose your email from the drop down menu. Upload your app logo if you have one by clicking on Browse. For developer contact info, enter your email address. Click Save and Continue. The next screen is Scopes. Scroll down and click Save and Continue. On this page, select Application Type from the drop-down menu and click on Web Application. Name field name is selected by default. You can edit name field as per your requirement as well. I would like to go ahead with the default name. Under Authorized JavaScript Origin, enter your domain name. The easiest way to copy and paste your domain name is to go back and you can copy your domain name from here. As per the instructions, please make sure to add HTTPS And two forward slash. In the authorized redirect URLs field, enter your domain name followed by YouTube access. You can find the exact link in the instructions. Click on create. On the credential page, you should now see client ID. Click done. Click on the consent screen on the left hand side of the list. User type should be external by default. 
Please note the information you type on the screen will not be shown publicly on your website. The next option is Test Users. Click on Add User. Enter your email address same as on your website profile in the pop-up and click Save. Go to the Credentials option from the left side of the list. Go to Client IDs table. Click on your client name. From the right hand side, copy the client ID and client secret key. Log into your website and click on configuration, then click on enable YouTube services. Paste your client ID and client secret key and then press submit. When this page has loaded, take a screenshot of this page. Choose your Google account. When this page has loaded again, take a screenshot of this page. Press continue. When this page has loaded, take a screenshot and then press continue. Now you are directed back to the dashboard. And as you can see, your YouTube channel has been enabled. To create a YouTube channel, sign in to your YouTube account. Click on your profile picture on the right hand side. If you see your channel menu, it means you have a channel created already. If you see create a channel on the menu, you'll be asked to create a channel. Check the details with your Google account name and photo and confirm to create your channel. For the final step, go back to the instruction page by clicking on this link. Scroll down to step number 22, where you will be asked to complete a compliance audit form. Every user has to fill this form to verify the YouTube app created on the console dashboard. A missed or incomplete submission of this form on your YouTube channel will restrain your videos from going public and will remain private which means the video will only be seen by you and not by other viewers. So to make this uploaded video publicly available, we need to follow the steps below. To fill out this form, please click on this link. This is how the form looks like. For details, step-by-step -step instructions on how to fill this form, please go on this link. Here you will find step-by-step -step detailed instructions on how to fill this form. Once the form is filled, click on Submit. The process is now complete. You will now have YouTube services enabled to disable this. Simply click on the Disable link provided here. Thank you.